Hey guys, welcome back to our classroom. And now, here's our story of Hello Ocean. We introduced this story during our opening group a couple days ago, and now I'm gonna finish reading it. And we're gonna get to hear all the sounds of the beach and maybe see all the smells and all the things that the beach comes with because it's a really beautiful place, all right? So turn on your senses. Why don't you turn your ears on? Turn on your nose, open your eyes, wiggle out those fingers, get ready to pretend to touch. Yep, and let's go ahead and get ready for Hello Ocean by Pam Munoz Ryan, illustrated by Mark Estrella. Hello Ocean, look at that. You see some cool starfish. Oh, I love starfish. Have you ever found one on the beach? It's beautiful. Hello Ocean, my old best friend. I'm here with the five of me again. And remember, your five are the five senses. Your ears to hear, your eyes to see, your fingers to touch, your nose to smell, and your tongue and your mouth to taste. So there's five senses we could use at the beach. I see the ocean, gray, green, blue, a chameleon, oish, changing hue, amber seaweed, speckled sand, bubbly waves that kiss the land. There's all the seaweed, the ocean, and the waves crashing to the shore. Wide open water before my eyes, reflected in a bowl of skies. And that's a beautiful blue sky, isn't it? And look, she's squinting her eyes because it's really sunny out. When it's sunny out, we squint so the sun doesn't hurt our eyes. Glistening tide pools and secret nooks. I love the way the ocean looks. I hear the ocean, a lion's roar, crashing rumors toward the shore. And there's the waves crashing. Ready, can you make a crashing sound of waves? Ready? That's right. Water slushing and rushing in, then whispering back to the sea again. Froggy songs from distant boats, gentle clangs from bobbing boat floats. And there's some boats out there in the water. See the boats, yeah. And look at the toes making footprints in the sandy water. How do you think that water's gonna feel and the sand's gonna feel on your toes? Maybe a little squishy? Maybe a little cold? Greek of gulls calming down. I love the way the ocean sounds. And we hear these sounds with our ears. We can see the bird, but we also hear the bird. Call, call. And we can hear the bird soaring through the air. These are called seagulls. I touch the ocean and the surf gives chase, then wraps me in a wet embrace. Pulling, pushing, the restless sea repeats the same refrain to me. And there's a little girl. She's swimming in the ocean. They're wading in the water. How does that ocean feel to you when you touch the water? Yeah, it feels wet, right? Maybe a little slimy, too. The ocean water can feel a little bit different than the water in our sink. And those waves crashing around, you can feel the bubbles, too. It's pretty cool. Waves that pounce in rowdy play, tide that tickles with splashing spray. Squishy, sandy, soggy ground, slippery seaweed that wraps around. How do you think that seaweed would feel? Yeah, really slimy, right? Mm hmm I can only imagine. Be a little slippery and slimy. Sudden breezes that make me squeal. I love the way the ocean feels. Oh, can you feel that breeze in your hair? Ready? I love a good summer beach breeze. I smell, let's use our noses. I smell the fresh salt wind wafting, wafting from suntan skin. I can smell the suntan lotion. Who's ever put lotion on to make sure you don't get sunburn? Yeah, it smells like coconuts. It smells like sun lotion. Yeah, and I also smell the water. You smell the salty air. Yeah, it smells like fish. It smells like seaweed. It smells like beach. 
aromas from some ancient tale. Disclose their news when I inhale. Ready? Take a big deep breath. Inhale. What do you smell at the beach? Reeky fish from waters deep. Yeah, you can smell the fish of, that fishermen are trying to catch. Fragrant ore from holes dug steep. Yeah, you when you dig in the sand, you can even smell down there too. It smells like beach. It smells like salty water. Drying kelp and musty shells. I love the way the ocean smells. Have you ever buried yourself in the sand before? But yeah, it's fun. Just be careful. And these are called sand dollars. Can you say sand dollar? Yeah, sand dollars are almost like a, a, a shell or a, a starfish, but it, it, is, it's a, it was a living creature at one point, and they dry up and they're left in the sand, and you can find them, just like shells. Oh, I taste. I taste the ocean and wonder why. It tastes like tears, I sometimes cry. Sandy grains and a salty drink. Yeah, the ocean is super salty. Yeah, it may make your, you know, give you a little funny face like, ooh, that tastes a little funny. And sand, I can imagine, will be crunchy. But that's what the ocean's all about. And that's what we love about the ocean and the beach. Our best for fish and whales, I think. I lick the drops still on my face. I love the way the ocean tastes. And just like your teardrops, they kind of taste a little salty, but she loves it. So do I. I love the ocean. The sun dips down, it's time to go, but I'll be back to see your show. Hear the stories you have to spin. Taste your flavors once again. Take deep sniffs of briny air and feel the treasures you have to share. Goodbye, ocean, my old best friend. And look, that's for the sunset. The sun is going down and it leaves these beautiful colors in the air, in the sky. And you get to see the sun hide itself behind the ocean. It's time to go home. The end. And we start and end with the starfish. Pretty cool, right? A beautiful picture on the back of all the waves crashing to the shore. So. Another one of my favorite things is, and I just went down to the beach, is to get to see the sun rise in the ocean. And when the sun rises, it starts to come up and it brightens the ocean and it looks like glass. It's amazing. And in the morning time, it's super quiet too. So it feels like you're the only one in the whole entire world walking on the sand and looking at the ocean and it's all yours. Without all the big crowds there, it's really cool to go down there and feel like you belong, and it's the only thing out there is you and the big ocean. It's pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the story, all right? If you want, draw what you love to do at the beach. What is your favorite thing to do, but what is your favorite sense to use at the beach? Do you like to hear things at the beach? Smell, taste, touch? I love to see things at the beach. I use my eyes to see, and I love to see, like I said, the sun coming up over the ocean and the waves looking like glass. And me by myself, it's amazing. And just maybe with my family. And we get to be there and it's, we're the only ones there. It's very cool. What do you love to use your senses? Maybe you like the taste of the ice cream you eat on the beach or the smell of the salty air or the french fries cooking in the background. Or maybe you like to touch the starfish in the shells. Go ahead, share your work with me. Okay? And I can't wait to see what you love about it. Bye, guys.